Hey everyone, I'm Ava and today I'm going to be making a fun DIY for the dolls perfect for the summer season. This was kind of just a random idea but I saw a picture of this on Pinterest and it's like a hanging couch sofa thing and I thought it'd be really fun to make that in miniature. So to start I have some jumbo popsicle sticks and for the base I want the main part of the sofa to be nine inches long. So I take the popsicle sticks and I cut off the rounded ends. And so one popsicle stick is seven inches long. So I'm gonna mark and cut another one. So I have a two inch piece that adds on to that to make nine inches in length. And I'm gonna repeat this process a couple times until I have five of these long pieces. And if we push it all together, you can see what the base is gonna look like. So this measures nine by five inches. And now because obviously these pieces aren't going to just magically stay together, I have another jumbo popsicle stick and I'm going to glue it right down here to connect all these pieces. And then I'll glue another one over here for extra support. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess pieces. And now that we have this base for the sofa thing, I cut more jumbo popsicle sticks and like cut off the rounded parts in the end, and I'm going to glue them around the side. But before I do that, I make a line down the middle so I know where I'm going to glue it to the base. Because I don't want to glue it right to the bottom, I want it to be somewhat in the middle. But now before I glue on the sides here, I'm gonna line up the sides with the jumbo popsicle stick and mark where I'm gonna cut it. And then with the popsicle stick still lined up, I'm gonna make two little marks, one in this corner and one in this corner for where I'm going to carve out little holes so that we can attach some twine and actually hang up the sofa, couch, bench thing. And then with an X-Acto knife, I'm going to carefully carve out these two marks. There's probably better ways to do this, but this works for me and it might be a process, but we get the end result that we want. Why does this fly like me so much? Why does this fly? <sighs> Go away. And I'm gonna repeat that same process with the other one over here. And then I also repeated that with a second popsicle stick. So in total, we have four little holes carved out. And now I'm going to cut on the lines we marked earlier. And then I glue them to the sides. Now I have some twine here and I'm going to cut long pieces and it's better to have it too long than too short somewhere around one and a half feet in length. And then I poke one end through one of the holes we made. And then I'm gonna glue the part that's inside to the bottom. And I repeat that with the other three holes. And now you could definitely keep it like this, put in a cushion, some pillows and hang it up and it would probably look great. But I'm gonna add kind of like a little bit of a back and side rest, like a kind of Kind of like a couch would have. So to do that, I have some regular size popsicle sticks and I'm gonna cut off a rounded end and glue one over in this corner and then another one over here. And then I'm gonna glue a jumbo popsicle stick to the smaller popsicle sticks right like that, leaving a little bit of space. And then I'm gonna cut off all the excess pieces and I repeat that on the other side. Then to do the back piece, I'm gonna measure how long of a jumbo stick I'll need. So nine and a quarter inches is what I'm getting. So I cut jumbo popsicle sticks and line them up to make two long jumbo popsicle sticks that measure nine and a quarter inches. Then I'm gonna glue the longer piece on the other one so it goes over this crack here and then the shorter one over here so that it'll be nice and sturdy. And then I'm gonna glue that in the back here. And now, because at the moment, this doesn't really look too comfy to sit on, 
I'm gonna make a cushion for the bottom here. So I cut a piece of foam board that fits perfectly into the bottom. And I'm gonna use a technique that I've used several times to make cushions using fiber batting. It's like this thin, fluffy material that's usually used for making quilts. But I have two pieces here that are similar in size to the foam board piece. And I'm going to start by gluing one of the layers onto the foam board piece using as little amount of glue as possible. And then I flip this around and cut off the excess. And then I'm going to take the other piece of the fiber batting and I'm going to glue that on top of the other one here. I don't know why there's so much cat hair all over this stuff. Probably because I have a cat. <laughs> again, using as little amount of hot glue as possible. And I'm going to cut off the excess once again. And now because I want the cushion to be white, I have some white just cotton fabric. I'm going to lay underneath, lay down our cushion piece, and then I'll fold over and glue down the edges underneath. To make a nice cushion that actually feels soft, that we can put right in place into the sofa bench thing. What we're gonna do now is make a ton of pillows to fill up this empty space. To make pillows, I have two pieces of fabric with the good sides facing the inside, laying on top of each other, and then I measure out how big I want my pillow to be. Then with my sewing machine, I'm gonna sew all along the marked lines, but leaving an opening so we can flip it inside out. But before we do that, I'm gonna cut off the excess fabric. And I'm going to cut off the corners, making sure not to accidentally cut the thread. And now we can flip it inside out. Using the opening, that is not where the opening is. Using the opening we left open earlier. And then using something to help poke out the corners. And then I'm going to stuff that full with pillow fluff. And then I'm going to sew up the rest of the opening with a needle and thread. And voila, there we go, a perfect pillow. And I'm basically gonna repeat this a bunch of times to make a bunch of different pillows. So I'll be back when I have all those made. And then let's place them on the hanging sofa. I still don't even know what to call this thing, but we're gonna go with that for now. And I think that looks so cute. Obviously you could really mix match your pillows and make a whole bunch of different ones to make different kind of themes. And then from here, you can basically just take our pieces of twine and hang up the sofa bench hanging thing. Still don't know what to call it. But because of course I'm gonna take things a step further, we're gonna add fairy lights. I have these little fairy light things. They are really cheap and they just come in like a pack of 10. So I'm going to unravel one. But as you can see, the lights are kind of separated pretty far apart. And I also want to make like two strands out of this one strand, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of folding and twisting to get what I want here. So basically I'm gonna take a section from here and fold it in half. This is a process. Fold in half like that so that the lights are closer to each other. And then I'm gonna twist the wire so that it'll stay in place. And keep in mind that I didn't fold the entire thing in half. Okay, so now we have one strand that's like folded in half here. But now the rest of the piece that wasn't folded in half, I'm now gonna fold that in half. This might be the worst explaining job I've ever done on anything, but hopefully you guys can kind of figure out what I mean here. And hopefully by the end, you'll just kind of see what I did and if you want to do something similar, hopefully you can figure it out. So I'm going to twist that as well to keep it folded in half. So now I basically have this thing so that it goes off into two separate long sections. And then what I'm going to do is take the little box here that has the switch on it. And I'm going to glue it in the center underneath here. Like right under there. And now I'm basically going to take these two strands and twist them around the twine pieces all the way to the end. So now the twine has lights going up with them. And I'm gonna repeat that entire process on the other side. And so now we can go and hang this up. 
you could really hang this up anywhere, anywhere that you've like, you know, a good pole or something to hang it up on. My original idea was to hang it up outside on a tree branch, which I think would be so cool, but there weren't any tree branches around that were perfect for what I need it for. So I'm just gonna tie mine to this long wooden dowel that I have, and then I can kind of just carry it around and bring it wherever I want. So this is my, this is my rigged up system. Um, obviously, as you can see, nothing professional going on here. I just glued jumbo sticks to the end so these things can't slide off. But I basically just twisted the ends together at the same length so that it carries the sofa. And I also did put a little bit of glue here to keep these in place. And now I can just kind of go hang it wherever I want. So I might head outside and see if I can find a place out there. Hello guys. So I am currently outside and it's kind of difficult to film this because I'm actually like holding up the like stick thing up here so i'm literally just carrying this thing around but you can kind of see how you could definitely just position it into a nice position and get a nice photo just using any background outside so yeah sorry about the bad audio but i did want to show you guys what it kind of looks like and give you an idea what kind of photos you could get just from outside it would definitely make it a lot easier if you could put it on a tree though like my arm is getting tired <laughs> here's another kind of background i kind of found which is kind of nice like by some rocks and yeah, just giving you an idea of the kind of backdrops you can find outside and how you can make a really nice picture with just what's outside your back door. I also wanted to take this really quick video just to kind of give you a better idea of how the fairy lights look. I think they look really cool and really just add a lot to the whole entire look. And I also set up this little kind of diorama background with this window and just some plants around. And again, I'm just holding the thing at the top here to keep it hanging. But yeah, you can definitely play around with it and I feel like it's just such a fun thing and I love just the hanging concept and it's just like, you could put it anywhere and it would look great. Oops. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. I think it's just really fun and a cute craft for summer and just kind of a unique concept instead of making a basic sort of couch. Let me know what you guys thought of it and comment down below and let me know if you're gonna try to make something similar. Before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Banjo Bones, Maca Speed Builds, and Miley Morningstar. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you have a chance of getting a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shoutout in the next video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe because it supports me and the channel so, so much and it would just mean the world. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye.